I'd rather change the body than the dress. I've actually had issues where I look like I'm actually eating off my chest. I want to be able to breathe. I don't want to pass out in the middle of the wedding. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. Here, wait. Yeah. No, it's really oh, beautiful. Okay. Meet Marcy. Her wedding's in just six weeks, and she can't zip up her dress. Guys, it's gonna rip. <laughs> the feeling in this wedding dress right now is uh, not a good one. This dress is meant to fit me perfectly, and right now it doesn't. Marcy's got a case I can't do up zipperitis. Oh my god. Tommy, you're a personal oh. trainer. Nadine Bowman, nutrition specialist. Zipper yeah. broken? <laughs> no. You're gonna need this. Keep track of everything you eat and drink for one week. And you're gonna need this. For the next six weeks, that is your second skin. More than anything, I want this dress look gorgeous on my wedding day. Come on, Marcy, drive those knees up. We gotta work off that mummy tummy. I'm trying. Marcy is a busy mom and cocktail waitress who just ordered up a big serving of grueling workouts and healthy living in order to fit into her wedding dress. Come on, Marcy. You didn't think it was gonna be easy, did you? Oh my God. Brad and I are getting married at a vineyard, and the fact that it's a destination wedding is difficult in getting everything organized. He would probably like to help more than I let him. The reason I'm trying to get so involved is to help Marcy out. She's got so much going on already, all three kids. Okay. Mama. How many do you have left to do here? There is Brad's son, Kobe, my daughter, Kayla, and our daughter, Bailey. So it's quite yours, mine, and ours. This is a big piece. Yeah, it is. Whoa! Whoa. We eat fairly decent, I think. Uh, obviously, for losing weight, it's probably not good. I love junk food and snack food. I just like french fries or whatever it is that's quick and easy to grab. I love my alcohol. <laughs> that's just something that really has contributed to it as well especially working in a bar. It's always there. <laughs> got some extra um, <laughs> that stuff. Go. Oh, God. And I just want, sorry, I just want to be able to walk down the aisle and look amazing and beautiful and have a person stand on the other side and be so proud that, that they picked me and make them happy. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach, Nadine Bowman. We're in a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Marcy, welcome to your Isle of Shame. Holy shit. This platter I call Porky's Dinner in a Movie. Oh. Because it's making you porky, Marcy. Wow, thanks. <laughs> this is a little bit over the top. It's missing about three glasses of wine at least. Oh, really? <laughs> These are about 130 calories each. These chocolate candies, they're 1170 calories. 450 calories, 300 calories. Your medium popcorn, 951 calories. Wow. Total calorie count for this? 3,255 calories. So basically, that's two days worth of calories just in one evening. That's bad. Yeah. Let's take a look at the next platter. Okay. Next platter, buns of flour. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. This is one week of your bread and butter consumption. One week? One no week. way. White bread is chemically bleached. The milling process virtually takes out all of the vitamin E, fiber, and all of the vitamins and nutrients. Butter. Isn't butter supposed to be good for you? Um, <laughs> it's fat, and you're eating about 810 calories of butter a week. Total caloric intake for your bread and butter per week, 3,014 calories. Wow. Let's check out the next platter first. Oh, here we go. Fatty patties. <laughs> Holy porker. In one month, your hot wing calorie intake is 2,240. 7,000 calories in pizza. Oh my god, really? Really. Fried rice, 2,336. 1,520 calories. 67 calories. 67 calories. Might as well put one right there. I might as well. Total calorie count for this deep fat and fried platter. 
15,284 calories. Wow. You want to be glowing on your wedding day, but not from Greece. <laughs> no. Okay. okay, well, Tommy's waiting. Let's go see him. Okay. It's scary that that's what I'm consuming, and that's also what my children are consuming, if not more than that. And that really makes me know that I need to change. Marcy, time for your shape analysis. Bust, 39 inches. Waist, 36. Hips, 41. Okay. Up on the scale. Weight, 156 pounds. Ouch. You're five foot six, wear a dress size of 10. Weight, 156 pounds. Body type, rectangle. We have a lot of work to do, I'm guessing. Ready to make some changes? Yes, I am. All right. Well, let's go see Jean, our stylist, and get you in that wedding dress. OK. Marcy, meet Jean. She's going to help you into your dress. Right this way. Nice to you. Can you breathe? Um, not really, no. No. Jean, tell us what we need to do. I'll start off with the good points. I love the color of this dress. It's sort of an antique white, as opposed to very, very true white, which can be sort of 80s, cheap wedding dress style. Uh, so this is really classy. I love that there's a sash right here at the natural waistline, which is good that if you're a rectangle shape, if you're a little thick in the waist, it's good for creating a waistline. But of course, the problems are in the back. The zipper just won't go up. This is a good three and a half, four inches for the zipper to do it properly. And I can tell that once it does go up, we're gonna get a lot of overhang here, pretty fleshy on top. And also in the front, because this is a straight cut bodice, a uh, little less forgiving than, say, a sweetheart neckline. This has got to fit really well. If not, we're going to get a lot of pit fat, uh, maybe a little bit too much cleavage. Because you're a rectangle shape, yeah. if you do lose some inches through your waist, it'll taper you down. You're not going to have to rely on the ribbon. On the back, we have three inches to go. So between your chest and your back, if we lose some inches there, you'll be able to do your dress up. You're not going to get that overspill of the back ass. Mm -hmm. On the front, we need some toning through your arms. Well, that's just not for No. Me. Do you promise to stick to your meal plan for the full six weeks? I do. So if you do your job, we do our job, we will get in that dress. Sounds good. We've got six weeks to tone up Marcy's arms and midsection. What it's going to take for me to fit into this dress is a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. Got your game face on, Marcy? Sure thing. You're going to need it at Tommy's Playground. Hope you can last. Come on. Good. Stay down in the squat. Feel the burn. The burn is starting to kick in. First exercise for Marcy was love on the run. A resistance band lateral walk. Um, basically, works your glute medius. You need to really have your game face on that one, because it'll burn. It'll make you want to stop. She didn't, so kudos to her. Push up position. The push ups and the rolls and the crunches, I thought they were never gonna end. I thought we were gonna do a couple times, then it started going upwards, and I, by five I was like, are you serious? Ball and chain time, Marcy. Extra special ball and chain. Get those knees up, let's go. She doesn't have a lot of weight to lose. I really wanna tone her up, get her tight through her core and her midsection. So I'm gonna be pushing her as hard as possible. Come on, Marcy, drive those knees up. We gotta work off that mummy tummy. I'm trying! Marcy, six weeks of your utmost focus. That's what it's gonna take. Okay. Yeah, there'll be times where I fall on the ground and I scream and I feel like I can't go on. But honestly, the end result is worth all of the pain and agony that you have to go through. Next, the girls take Marcy out for a night of fun and temptation. I'm sorry, Tommy. And her promises go down the hatch. Yeah. Zipper broken? <laughs> Marcy's a busy mom and cocktail waitress, hoping to slim down enough to fit into her wedding dress. Come on, Marcy, drive those knees up. I'm trying. Hi, Marcy. You love to eat nachos, lots of wine, pub food. You work late, so your eating habits aren't that, you know. Good. Right? Right. Now, you couple inactivity with that. Here's where you're headed. Yuck. That's getting That's six bad. pounds a year. So by your fifth wedding anniversary, 
you'd be close to 200 pounds. Uh, no. Hopefully not. No, thank you. You put the hard work in for the next six weeks, which will definitely set up a successful lifestyle change, you could look like this. Woohoo! You like that one? Yes. All right, let's get into yummy mummy category. Come on. You're gonna squat down. Bag's gonna come up. Once it's here, squat down. Marcy's biggest hurdle is gonna be pacing herself and sticking to the plan. So row, row, push up. Good, Marcy. Marcy works extremely hard, so I'm gonna challenge her and push her. If she takes it, she's gonna get more and more. Pretty much wanna die right now. Well, save it for the next one. It's not a lot of weight that needs to be lost. It's a lot of toning and some inches to give her some more shape so she can fit into that dress. Knees come up. Put it right back down. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I have a lot on the line. I have to put in 150% to get into that wedding dress. Back up. These exercises are all part of your fitness plan, all right? Sounds good. Marcy, welcome to one day in the life of your new food. What do you think? It just looks like a lot of veggies and fruit. We are slashing left, right, and center here, okay? okay. Another thing you'll notice, no wine, okay? No more chocolates. No more fast food, a lot of changes. Well, I'm gonna show you now a few healthy options for what to eat while you're at the pub. Okay, sounds great. I had to come up with some alternatives that she could use that would effectively get her eating healthy because what's she gonna do when she's at work? These two meals right here are from the menu. Okay, so fish and chips and triple decker clubhouse. Fish and chips, Yeah. 1110 calories. What? The healthy halibut meal is only 155 calories. What about the clubhouse? 995 calories. Now the healthy open-faced chicken sandwich is a total of 265 calories. Still looks good. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> what are we gonna do about the stagette that's coming up? Well, it's gonna be here, so I guess I can take these options and use them at the stag. My girls are taking me out for my stag, so it's game on. I plan on having lots of drinks and shots. I'm sorry, Tommy. It's one night, I'm having my nachos. Screw the diet plan, I'll make it up later. I'm Marcy and her drinking team. How are you feeling this morning, ladies? Fantastic. A little hungover? <laughs> Too many shots and foods that definitely are not on the meal plan. Really? Do you guys know what we're fighting for? No. We're fighting to avoid this. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Go! <laughs> Bring it back, ladies. Full speed, full speed. <laughs> Marcy was definitely on her way to getting into that dress before the stagette. Um, that definitely set her back, and obviously it's a stagette, so things are gonna happen. I wanted to get her back on track and uh, so she doesn't skip a beat. You guys had no problems with the shots last night. That only takes one arm. I love that he pushes me and yeah, it sucks and it's hard, but you know, that's the only way to get results. You cannot let Marcy cheat. You guys have to be a good influence. Sorry. The girls did a lot of whining, but they finished. Uh, I just wanted to give them a taste of what Marcy's been going through and the kind of support that she needs from them to ensure that she can fit into her dress. Let's hope that we never have to meet like this again. Okay. I'm hoping that this will be worth it in the end. Like, hoping that I'm gonna get into that dress and look amazing. Midpoint weigh-in, let's get started. Next, we see how Marcy's doing at the halfway point. You're gonna have to work harder. What's burning? Busy mom and bride-to-be Marcy is working hard to fit into her wedding dress. I just... Hope so much that all of this hard work that I've been doing will pay off. Hello, Marcy. Hello. Midpoint weigh-in, let's get started. Bust, 38 inches. Down one inch. Ooh. Waist, 35. Lost one inch. Okay. Hips, 39. All right, you've lost two inches. Good. Let's get you up on the scale. Okay. Weight, 150, one ounce. 
You've lost five pounds. All right, that's okay. It's not as much as I wanted. You have been working hard. You're gonna have to work harder. And because you have been working hard, we both know that, we're gonna send you to see Jean. Okay. You're going shopping for lingerie. <laughs> oh. So have fun with it. Okay. Get ready to come back to work. Okay. So Marcy, I heard you don't have anything sexy to wear for your wedding night. Is that true? Yeah, I'm still looking for the lingerie to go under and for the night and everything, yeah. All right, well, I already did a little shopping for you. I chose about three pieces that I think are really gonna work. Let's start with the hot pink one. Okay. Baby doll style, so it's uh, very tight on top, structured with lots of support on top. Empire waist, there's lots of gathering um, right under the bust line and flows over her body, cut short. So you can see these great legs. Uh, overall, it's got this really nice slimming effect to it. I love the color for myself, mm -hmm. but I was kind of looking for something a little bit more classic for the wedding night. A little more wedding night, got yes. it. I chose the black and navy two-piece because I wanted to see how this silk charmeuse would uh, look on her body. It's also quite long, it's uh, from her shoulders to her ankles and you know when it's of a similar color especially dark um, across your body can really have a long lean look to it like I feel way too covered up okay. for wedding nights definitely was planning on showing a little bit more skin of course so let's Sounds try the next one okay love this one it's like a baby doll style like the hot pink one yes. sort of glides over your body so it gives that real svelte look and it's uh, sort of translucent, so you can sort of see underneath, but uh, you want to see a little more, Save right? some for later, <laughs> yes. I really loved the third piece because it just embodied everything that I was trying to accomplish. It looks amazing, you look adorable in it. I think Brad's gonna be very excited. Come on, let's go! Next, oh no God. pain, no gain. Before Brad gets to enjoy the wedding night lingerie, he has to join Marcy for a heavy-duty workout. I've been dishing out the tough workouts to Marcy as she tries to slim down enough to fit into her wedding dress. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bye. Let's hope that we never have to meet like this again. Okay. Marcy? Don't. Brad, today's gonna be your partner challenge. We have a 10 kilometer bike, then run. You have quite the little firecracker here, so I hope you can keep up. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Mars, you already showed Brad what you've been up to for the last five weeks? I sure am. The happy couple. They're behind me for now. Come on, let's go! My legs were burning like the second we got on the bridge. Come on, Mars! You didn't think it was gonna be easy, did ya? I'm dying here! Oh my God! Come on, Bradski! Biking is a great exercise. It's something that everyone can do. Um, so I just wanted to give her a little taste, give her something different, just heading into the last week. We're gonna head that way. Second leg, oh. for the legs. As soon as we started running, that's where I realized, man, I'm not in shape at all. <laughs> Come on, honey, come on. Come on, you can do this. Push it through, push it through, push it through. Congratulations, you two. You guys have passed your partner challenge. Overall, the, the whole experience to me is awesome because we did it together. We finished together. So Brad, what do you think about Marcy's performance? She's doing good. My legs are killing from that run, so she's getting in good shape. She's been doing a really good job. She's been busting her ass. And today, the two of you really gave it your all. You guys deserve a big hug and a kiss. Mm. Hello, Marcy. Hi, guys. You shrunk. Bust. 37 inches. Down two inches. OK. Waist. 33. It's three inches off your waist. Awesome. Hips, 38. Another three inches off your hips. Time to get you on the scale. Okay. Weight, 100, 44 pounds. Yay! <laughs> you lost 12 pounds, Marcy. That's awesome! Good oh, work. I'm so happy. That's awesome. Well, 12 pounds, eight inches, fantastic results. Thank you. But there's one more thing you have to do for us. What is that? Get you in that wedding dress. Okay. Marcy, I'm gonna zip you up. Are you ready? Yes. Before I can do it up. And we're zipped up. Wow. Just like that. As a surprise, I invited Marcy's best girlfriends to see her in the dress. Surprise! surprise. <laughs> hey, oh my gosh, wow. hi guys. 
<laughs> Jean, tell us what's going on with the dress. Well, remember in the very beginning, guys, we couldn't do the zipper up at all. There was lots of struggle, and now the zipper does up with no problems at all. The back is like a sculpture. It's beautiful. There's no overhang at all. The front, everything's laying nice and, and flat as well. There's no overhang on the front. Waist, waist is tiny. I can certainly see a lot of inches lost here. It looks stunning. Congratulations. Thanks. Being in this dress right now, it just makes me feel like a princess. I love that. I can certainly see all the hard work that Marcy's put in because the dress fits like a glove. She's gonna walk down the aisle with a big smile on her face. So proud of her. Marcy, great job, good work. Have a great wedding. Marcy took everything we gave her to heart and ran with it, losing 12 pounds and eight inches. She looks beautiful and will be glowing on her wedding day. Living a healthy lifestyle is one of my top priorities. It's something that I value for myself and my children. I just see the most open future that I could possibly have, that everything that I've done just in this short amount of time just shows me that anything is possible.